Hello, and welcome to the Jekyll Hyde Club. What do you mean that 80s cartoon Strawberry Shortcake wasn't cool, Slappy? What do you mean it was lame? Well... It had, like, food. It was about food, like pies and cakes and fruit and berries, and it had cute little animals and stuff in it. Like, who wouldn't like that? Even spooky people like us. Because, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Morticia and Gomez are here to tell Slappy. Morticia and Gomez, that would be us. Say hi, Gomez. Hello. <laughs> so, we're here to tell everyone that Strawberry Shortcake also had a dark side. You hear that, Slappy? A dark side. So there. All right, he's listening now. Okay. He's paying attention. We are going to share the Purple Pie Man action figure with you guys, a.k.a. the dark side of Strawberry Shortcake. He's from the early 80s. I think they came out in like 82, but the box says 80, so it's kind of interesting. I was going to pop open the figure on camera, like opening a time capsule from the early 80s, drive all the collectors crazy who love to keep stuff in the box and be like, ha, we're opening it, we're opening it. But it came kind of like where the plastic window on the front was like kind of fallen in and he was all dusty and everything was inside that was supposed to be, but it wasn't like brand new in an unopened box. So I went ahead and opened it and dusted him off and stuff because of the fact that I was just eager to do it and we'd already done a video yesterday, but also because it wasn't really like opening a new toy, unfortunately, so oh well. But we have all the innards to show you first and the box and then we will unveil the Purple Pie Man himself and show you his posability and whatnot. He's so enchanting for a dark figure. Um, he lost his smell though. But if you guys are new, do subscribe and join the Jekyll High Club with us every day for our daily dose of Strange. And for now, we will get started on the Purple Pie Man, his box, and his accoutrement. Yes, it's a very nice box. It has the distinct flair of the 80s. It was very charming to see, like, the year printed there. It's somehow, like, a good uh, We're going to keep the box back. and somehow put it on the wall for art. We're just going to work out how it's going to look best. Yes, because it is worth it. Uh, Why is it? <laughs> Alright, we're singing bad music now to go along with Slappy's criticism of a bad cartoon. Poor Slappy. Yeah. He's sulky now. He is. And here's how it all started. With this limited series of gentle toys, they offer us on the box here to collect Strawberry Shortcake and her friends, who include in this series Orange Blossom, Raspberry Tart, Apple Dumpling with Tea Time Turtle, and... Lemon Marine. Which we won't be doing because they're dolls with real hair and I have issues with dolls, but also just because they're not really our thing, except I do have a Strawberry Shortcake Christmas ornament that I will show when it's closer to Christmas next year. And a blueberry muffin from McDonald's with molded hair, mm, because she smells good. Oh. No, I've totally gone off topic, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the official name for our figure is the Peculiar Purple Pie Man of Porcupine, Pick. Now say that fast. The peculiar purple pie of perfect and <laughs> with berry bird. And they live high atop Porcupine Peak, as we're informed by the box, overlooking Strawberry Land. You guys, I don't think anybody in Strawberry Shortcake had cats. It's very weird. No, wait. I think maybe Strawberry had a cat and a dog, but it looked silly. Well, Cupcake was the dog, and I can't remember the cat's name, but it didn't look cool. Yes, I was wondering, how can you make a cat into something edible, like well, cat berry? Edible, or... but like, okay, <laughs> Sour Grapes was the other dark side figure of Strawberry Shortcake, and she was, um, like a witchy look, you know, but she had real hair, so I can't do it. I can't order her. But anyway, um, yeah, so like, she should have had a cat, but they gave her a snake pet. But she was all witchy, so like a cool, evil, berry cat would have been adorable for her. Good idea. We love birds and cats, so if it had been, if she had had the cat and he had the bird, it would be perfect. So be perfect. Yes, we like the birds, and for that reason, this next picture was even inter more interesting for me because it shows Purple Pyman not with a single baby bird, but with a whole flock of them, which makes me wonder, like, if there was ever an addition of him with uh, a an entire flock. I like sometimes to have a whole army of a particular toy because. Yeah, well, I'm like, you already have that one, Gomez. He's like, yeah, but it's only on sale for like three bucks, and I could have more. <laughs> Sometimes I let him do it, like we ended up with a couple goblins and Malgaroths from Spiderwick, but then when he wanted another Hercules for this character of ours, I was like, no, he's fine with just one of himself. Cool. That was Ennis, remember? Yes. Yeah. 
and I think we have what several goblins, several mouth girls. Yeah, that's like from Spider-Man. Yeah. I did let you do that because it was just a dollar or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so then we have the purple pie man proves he's not all bad and he is featured alongside somebody I suspect to be a strawberry and blueberry muffin. Oh, we shouldn't have told that. He's supposed to be the dark side. Oh, his secret is revealed. Yeah. And what else? Then we have on this side. Did we show this side? Yes, this is where he's shown himself with Barry Bird. And it says that it's featured in this package and that he's produced by Kenner. Kenner makes some cool toys. Yes, didn't we have something else from Kenner recently that we're... Um, yeah, it was your creature from Black Lagoon, right? Oh, no, yeah. no, no, Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing. Oh, yeah, Swamp Thing. Here's some... Oh, there's it Swamp Thing. your heart sing. Here is a brief cameo appearance for Swamp Thing as a reminder. And moving back to the box. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're helping out with the dark side thing. Yes. Then on, on the bottom of the box, we have some mention of Strawberry Shortcake that welcomes us to her world and that it includes a Purple Pyman figure. Okay, so that I think... Ah, now th there's one more side of the box. That's cool that it has so much decoration more than I noticed. 80s boxes. A lot of people comment that the 80s toy boxes or 70s were like so much better than what we have now. Like I've seen that comment on different reviews. I get, I see the point now that we're actually getting to look at some of them. Yes. Um, this one informs us that the smell that was supposed to come with him was originally cinnamon apple pie, which sounds like it would be charming. Yeah, I have some Febreze air freshener that smells like that. I thought about spraying it on him, but it feels oily if I get it on my hand, so I'm not gonna do that. That's my purple. And from the box to its insides, the first thing that drew my attention here was uh, the thank you card, which is very interesting. It shows Strawberry Shortcake herself, surrounded by berries and her gentle bumblebee. Uh, gentle because he probably wouldn't stink. Yes. What was his name again? I keep forgetting. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a bee. I know Lucky Bug. Was it Lucky Bug? Lucky, uh, yeah, oh, Lucky Bug. No, I guess he was. <laughs> don't mess with my head, guys. I don't know the stuff. I never saw the cartoons. That Slappy is so hard criticizing. Oh. I don't know. Maybe Slappy knows. That's why he's so severe about it. You no, know, we're asleep in the morning. He's like watching old eighties cartoons. Well, what else would he do? Like without us, he's alone, and without it's the worst thing. <laughs> Uh, on the inside, so we see the, the entire family of strawberry featured. I think I recognize Blueberry Muffin. May I like Blueberry Muffin. And that baby, what was her name? Apple Dumpling? Yes. That was just from you reading it yesterday, otherwise I wouldn't know. You're so good, you remember things. I listen to you, darling. I listen to you. And this one by its hair uh, color might be Lemon Meringue. And then I recognize maybe Hops a lot. And I think there's also Huckleberry Farmerite and Strawberry herself. And and Huckleberry a, might have been like the one boy or something, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I never knew they had a boy until we were researching all this online. Yeah, it's so interesting. I like, just knew there were toys. I didn't know they were cartoons, so that's kind of cool. But, you know, it's enchanting because all the toys, like, smelled yummy. Like, there are certain pies. Oh, so, you know, kids are going to want the toy. I wonder if some kid ever tried to eat it. I, I could see that. Maybe that's where they came up with the wording. Oh, another thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the cute little pun that would be good for children. It was very sweet of you. Very sweet. It's nice, you know, you never buy a cool toy these days and get a thank you card. Yeah. Wow. It's like, uh, I guess uh, that's why the beauty of the old style that sometimes you discover things like you think, okay, they were all like delayed and developed and whatever, whatever, but then you discover the cool aspects and you're like, oh, cool. Yeah, it was cooler back in the day, man. <laughs> uh, this special card is from a delightful new series by American Greetings. Welcome to the world of Strawberry Shortcake. And that concludes this card, but it did not come alone. It came with its friend, this booklet companion. <laughs> <laughs> At least I assume they're friends because... In not, they've been in that box for like since the early 80s and there's probably some... I still just... Yeah. <laughs> back we, we friends. I, I like your thought conversation. <laughs> friends. Uh, the front page says more fun from Strawberry and it features the logo of Kenner who produced them and it says that it's just for you which I like because I like things that are for me. Logo of Kenner. Oh, that sounds pretty. 
It was supposed to sound 80s. Yes, I like the style. Aww. Well, and if you feel nostalgic, Morticia also has a song from the late 70s, Touch to Mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. ACDC is timeless. Timeless. <laughs> and here the booklet advertises Toby Shortcake, uh, eight of her friends. And the friends include Toby Shortcake herself, five and a half inch tall, Raspberry Tart, five and a half, Apricot, with hops a lot, blueberry muffin by herself, lemon meringue, huckleberry pie, orange blossom, apple dumpling with tea time turtle. See, my mom has a couple of those. Like, mine are small that I got like from McDonald's recently in the ornament, but I really didn't think my mom's were five and a half inches tall. So either, like, because it's a doll and not an action figure, I'm gauging way off, or else they made some smaller ones later, I don't know. But mom has a couple in her cabinet, like a little curio cabinet, and I really thought they were maybe three or four inches tops like maybe three to four but anyway whatever and uh, next we have a strawberry short ca carry case uh they had all the stuff out like all these accessories that like yeah i was asking like do you know about this no, one i never knew about any of the stuff but you know when you look at all the stuff that ever it's a smart thing to advertise like that in the box yeah, if I were a kid, I, I could have been like tempted by this guy. Yeah, all the little kids don't know the stuff's out if it's not in their store and they see the stuff and they're like, Man, I need a carrot cake, man! I need my allowance! <laughs> <laughs> I know I spent it all on McDonald's burgers yesterday, but today's a new day! Let's not live in the past! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Go ahead and to childhood. Uh, yes. When he knew about strawberry shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> Imaginary uh, alternate <laughs> line. Russian strawberry shortcake. Then it could be like rugula or like different stuff. Like Yes, a strawberry in our version would come with something that might grow some of you out, I suppose, but for me it was like a natural thing. It came sometimes with a sour cream, uh, interesting enough. We would cover, we would put sour cream everywhere the way they do in Mexican cuisine, but we would do it even with fruit and would do even a fruit salad with sour cream. Well, that feels weird for me. I do yeah. love sour cream. I really enjoy me some sour cream, but that feels weird for me. Yeah, it just created that kind of a contrast. It's almost like one of you those. You mean like yummy and gross? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that that <laughs> Sorry, true. I was being crappy on purpose. <laughs> oh, is it not even sweeter cream? Like. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's just like uh, that yogurt that we tried okay, yesterday. Okay, but the, That's the yogurt the is still more sour. I mean, sour cream is still more sour. Like, uh, yeah, if I weren't used to it, I probably would not like it, but because I was, it was like an interesting balance. And that's it. You just said it. That's what you're used to. Yeah. Like what people are used to. You know, it's like, oh, ooh, but you know, when you're used to it, and I'm not being critical, like it's just a thing, but it's what you're used to. It's interesting. Yeah. Like I'm sure if I had it as a kid, I would be like, oh yeah, it's good. It's normal. Like, Yes. So would it be called sour cream berry or like? Uh, no, just uh, was considered strawberry. Like no, no, if it's a doll, we're going back to Russian strawberry. Uh, oh yes, yeah. that's what I was going for. Yes, okay. that's right. Okay. <laughs> so uh, since we're going back to the doll, we're going to the shortcake carry case. It's a big strawberry. Yeah, the big strawberry will carry any four, five and a half inch shortcake dolls, or the baby dolls, apple dumpling and apricot. There's even room for the pets, tea time turtle, and hop salad. Dolls not included. Then it advertises Purple Pie Man with his berry bird. And then we have a picture of a series of some of those gentle dolls that we saw also on the box. So I'm probably not going to go over them again, but because they're very similar. And you know, these are all probably somewhere or definitely on eBay pretty cheap if you go outside the box, so there is a point to us showing all this. Yes. And the repetition of the doll collection. Uh, eight adorable outfits designed especially for the dolls from Strawberry Land. Yeah, they even make clothes. I wish they would make some like clothes and sunglasses and stuff for Slappy. He, he gets bored sometimes. Like. He's ready. What else would he like? He doesn't know. Aww. <laughs> and then a we... A chair. Have... Remember, he wants a chair. Oh, yeah, that's right. Then we have strawberry shortcake butterfly. No, Slappy, you can't have a bazooka. What would he do Don't with a bazooka? Don't ask him what he wants. It's dangerous. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's costly. It's a, yeah. Uh, how much is bazooka? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so... Gomez is a bad influence on Slappy, you guys. <laughs> I, I pride myself on being a bad influence on everybody. Oh. Okay, so there's a butterfly that seems to be served as a vehicle. It looks a little different than the butterfly, one... Butterfly, maybe. I think it was called. Oh, nice. I was looking that up when Frankie mentioned it a while ago. Yeah. It looks quite adorable. Seems somehow greenish from this angle. I don't know if it was supposed to or not, but it looks greenish with red dots on the wingtips. It seems like a charming vehicle. Then... We have... A strawberry shortcake carousel. And it says, round and round it goes, push the sunflower seed knob up and down and give your strawberry shortcake doll a ride on their very own merry-go-round. That's so cute. Yes. Sunflower seeds. I like the nature aspect of all the stuff. I mean, for real. Like, they did a lot of that in the 80s and so much is, like, cybery and robotic now for cartoons. And I like, good, you know, the old stuff because it's actually kind of cool. Then we have a jewelry set of three that shows a ring, bracelet, and necklace. And it encourages us to collect the berries offer. And on the back there is the address where to send the offer. So if any of you want to tell you. Yeah, I like that. There's berries on the box. You're supposed to cut them out and send them in for gifts. And I was like, I wonder what would happen if they tried to do that now. Like, you're not honoring my berry collection I got off of eBay? Oh, I'm so pissed off. <laughs> Are we ready to unveil? Um, there's one more page, and then we will be. Let's see what it says. Uh, free strawberry shortcake ju- Oh, okay. Okay, yes, that's what we already covered. Then my t-shirt was psychic. We are indeed ready. <laughs> Here goes. Oh, how tall did it say he was? Like, eight inches? Uh, yes. Okay, so he's eight inch tall. Here he is, in all his villainous glory. Should he be here? Yes. Purple pie man. Da, 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 da. Now, he has his ooh, his berry bird right here, and it comes on and off his arm, but it's kind of difficult to get him on, so I'm leaving him on. But he has cute little bird feet and stuff I'll show later. And Purple Pie Man has a spoon tied to his belt right here. Should I lift him or is that showing? I uh, know, it's showing good. good. It's yellow. Um, And it would go in his hand. I'm sure I just don't feel like untying it from his belt right now. It's a pie spoon, Nami. And it's like a hard plastic, as is he. And his hat is cloth, as is his top. And he's got this curly hair. That is not real, so I love it, love it. And looky, his face is like a witchy face. Because he's got the long chin and kind of the hooked nose. So he's like a witchy guy, like our lovely friend Dr. Jekyll slash Mr. Hyde, because we think Jekyll sounds like a more evil name than Hyde, so. And a brief cameo appearance, he has the Dr. Jekyll in question. Which is actually technically Mr. Hyde, but again, we like the name Jekyll better because it sounds evil. Okay, back to purple. See, purple, Jekyll, purple, purple. Okay, anyway, <laughs> and now we go to, I love his shoes. I love these shoes, either the pointed shoes or the ones that curl up at the toes. I need some curl up shoes. I have pointed ones. I need some curl up. See, look at his, behold his foot. These, uh, he has pegs, uh, like a peg hole on the bottom of each of his feet right there at the heel, but no stand. So what, are there like universal stands I don't know about that these figures are supposed to be on? Like... Because, you know, some figures I have are, have a hard time going on their own stand, much less a different generic stand, you would think. So, I don't know. Ah, he doesn't always stand up well unless you move his legs just so, which is kind of difficult to do. Because when they're just regular, he doesn't... He stood up for a second for me, and then he was like, oh, I was just kidding, and fell. <laughs> and now I can't get him to do it anymore. See? Wow. Okay. But he's got flat feet. I think he would. I don't know. He's top heavy or something. Oh well. Okay, so we're done with that. He's got his nice handlebar mustache. And get this. He has a belly button. I just noticed while Gomez was talking about the box, I was assaulting Purple's shirt trying to fix it and noticed that he had a belly button. See his little belly button? 
I can. It's a little not... hole right here. It's a dot right there. It's a belly button. Well, others have better sight than me, so they Look, shall. Look, it's right there. Good, good. Gomez. Yes. And now you can see a little round belly button right there. I'm looking through the camera, so I may not. Okay, well maybe you should look throughout the camera. <laughs> okay, one day. All right, fine. And his waist. He has waist articulation, which is actually another thing I was looking for when I discovered his play button. I wasn't molesting double high men. Okay, so he has waist articulation. Oh, put your shirt back down, man. And your apron or whatever it is, your apron. Okay, and he has hip articulation. It just goes up and down. And the legs stay bent. I don't know why he's crouching, like, you know, just to make pies. Like, I don't understand. His elbows are also bent and they stay that way. The arm will go up and down, no wrist or ankle or anything movement. And his head turns like this, but it doesn't nod up and down really well. And I think he can do the exorcist, yes. There we go. See, again, <laughs> once more, the dark side of Strawberry Shortcake. Wow. It was a handlebar mustache. I love the wizardly chin, or witchy, witchy leaf chin. Wizards don't have a pointed nose and chin, but he can be a male witch because men can be witches too. And at last, Fairy Bird with his cute little claws. Some of the other Strawberry Shortcake, um, I've seen two other ones that are, um, I saw a butterfly and a mouse, and they were like rubbery, and this is like a harder plastic bird, so that's kind of different, like interesting. And a different material, but I guess it's around the same size, mostly, as the other ones. I don't know what kind of bird it's supposed to be. It's got a wider fanned out short tail, but then like a parrot beak and cone, so it's interesting. You can tell he's been eating pies. He's like chubby like a little robin. So we're going to try to get him back on Purple's arm. But Purple, I think, is just a cool, charming figure, even if you're not into strawberry shortcake. If you like pies and you like witchy stuff and you like Purple... I think he's just a cool figure to have, which is why I wanted him, because I just love those little shoes and his witchy face, and he just looks cool, and who doesn't like pies? Maybe it's good he doesn't smell like pies anymore, because then we could smell him and get all hungry. You have to press it really hard, and it still doesn't want to get on right away. <laughs> Dude. So I have to always toy with it to get it on there, on his, back on his arm. So I would like it if it went on his arm a little more easily because it's just always it's always like a two minute process to gently get it on there there he goes finally a little under two minutes this time i'm improving so i'm trying to be careful and not break it so any comments gomez that i did not cover on him oh no i think you've covered it all but i do like the birds so pretty and chunky and expressive even interestingly purple pie man doesn't get fed off his pies he's all in shape maybe he lets the bird taste for him What do you think? Yes. Is the bird his taster? I would see that. Who better than a bird who tries everything? So you guys, I studied the history of shoes, and the long pointed shoes were like way back in the day, like 12 or 1400s, and the longer and more pointed the shoe, it's more noble. Like, if you're sort of noble, you have like a 12 inch shoe, or if you're like super, super noble and royal, you have like a 14 or 15 inch shoe. And eventually the shoes got so long that they had to use cords to hold the points up so people could walk. And that's why they started to curl up at the toes. For real. Like that's the real history of the pointed shoes. In a nutshell. A very quick nutshell. I wonder what kind of nut that should be. Hmm. A peanut? All right. A peanut shell. But peanuts aren't real nuts. <laughs> as we discovered from Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> so... Anyway, we hope you guys have enjoyed this long, interesting review. But it's 80s, so we kind of wanted to savor the early 80s for fun for the historians among us. And the dark side of Strawberry Shortcake, Purple Pie Man. Even if you're not into strawberry, because we're not really, he looks so cool and wicked. So, um, um, he was $24 online with the bird in a box. So that's kind of cool. And we got all the extra stuff. But I've seen versions for even cheaper, like used and stuff. And sometimes you have to buy the bird separately and you have to get him. I saw the bird for like 12 bucks. I was like, no, I'm just going to get these two together and save myself the effort. So, But if you don't care about the bird, I've seen him for like six and eight and whatever online just out of the box. So it depends on what you're wanting. But I did find him in the box for $24 on eBay. So keep trolling eBay if you're interested. There's tons of him in different, you know, states of used right now all over online. So 
We hope you have enjoyed this review of the Purple Pie Man representing the dark side of strawberry shortcake. And until next time, try to enjoy the daylight.